Jess, I'm going to have to fight my urges to be lazy tomorrow because when it's that cold, I just want to stay under the blankets <laughs> and sweatpants and yeah. like cozy clothes. Yeah, it's going to be very, very cold tomorrow. Not only the temperatures, but the wind is also yeah. just going to make it feel awful. Uh, once we get through tomorrow, though, it gets kind of boring. So we'll focus on what's going to be happening over the next 24 hours for sure. Uh, right now, down to 25 in Bangor. Portland's at 27. This is the actual air temperature. You'll notice in the mountains and higher elevations already down into the low teens, and the temperatures will just keep dropping as we go through the next several hours. Look at some of these current wind gusts. Greenville gusting to almost 50 already. Sanford gusting to 36. Bangor gusting to 33. And Rockland's almost gusting to 40. We'll see these wind gusts continue into tomorrow as well. And the wind chills uh, reflect the actual air temperature and the wind speed. In Greenville right now, it feels like 10 below already. And we have several more hours, of course, of cooler temperatures to go. Feels like 14 in Rockland. 10 is what it feels like in Bangor and 15 right now in in Portland. We had some snow showers, some snow squalls really earlier, even had a snow squall warning in northern Maine, but things for the most part are calming down tonight. As we go into tomorrow, it's not the snow that's really going to be an issue, although the roads could definitely be icy tomorrow morning. Please be careful. Anything that was able to melt today, definitely refreezing out there tonight. But look at the actual air temperatures down into the single digits to start the day, and we'll talk about what happens when we factor in the wind in just a second. Really doesn't warm up much as we go throughout the day tomorrow. Upper teens lower 20s for highs and that's going to do it. We will see some sun. That's the good news, but it's really not going to warm up much at all. These winds will stay very gusty going through tomorrow. 35 to 45 mile an hour wind gusts possible. Could even be higher though in the mountains and higher elevations. Could gust to around 60. Look at that one in Rangeley. So just be careful out there. It's going to be brutally cold tomorrow when you factor in the temperature plus the wind. These are what the wind chills are going to feel like 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. It gets so low that we don't even have colors to represent it. Once we get below uh, 40, negative 40 or 40 degrees below zero, we run out of colors. So obviously it's going to be cold tomorrow. Please be careful if you're spending time outdoors. Make sure to bundle up, protect your skin. Keep that covered for tomorrow because it's going to be cold. Once we get into tomorrow afternoon, I mean, still with the wind chill feeling like it's below zero. After that, good news, not a lot going on. I'll show you in the seven day in just a sec. Seas tomorrow. 9 to 12 feet winds from the northwest 30 to 40 knots gusting as high as 50 so the seas will be up there too yeah just cold tomorrow brutally cold no other way to put it really windy we'll see very cold temperatures as well so the wind chill will feel like it's below zero for most of the day in the mountains and higher elevations 30 to 40 below zero when you factor in that wind after that though it's fine. Wednesday is nice. We're warming up upper 30s, lower 40s. We'll see some sun uh, by Thursday. A couple degrees cooler, but still right around normal for this time of year. A little bit chillier as we get into Friday, but plenty of sunshine. Temperatures near 30 both Friday and Saturday with mostly sunny skies. And then we warm up again as we head into the second half of the weekend. So it's really just tomorrow that we're dealing with. That's definitely going to be a uh, harsh reminder of winter, Chris. And then after that, quiet and boring, but stay warm and make sure you're, you know, covered up tomorrow because it's going to be cold out there. We can get through one day. Yes, we we're can. hearty. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Jess. Thanks.